you run ads and you don't get that many people walking through the door. So you just got to manage it and find creative ways and keep pushing through. BC businesses are struggling to find employees as many have left their jobs over the last couple of years and what's being called the great resignation. But the grass isn't always greener on the other side. And now there's the great regret. We've heard that people are quitting their jobs in droves. And yes, that's absolutely been true. But what's really interesting, 12 months after seeing lots and lots of people quitting their job, is the data starting to show most people are regretting it. In fact, 72% of people are either saying they regret their decision or the new job was nothing like what they thought it was going to be. Inspired HR's Debbie Carew says those considering quitting their job need to do extensive research to find out if their new workplace is as good as it promises to be. And for employers with the staggering employee shortages many businesses are facing right now, she suggests maintaining a relationship with the person calling it quits. I encourage employers with your good employees to let them go out and explore and just say, listen, I understand you've been offered this great opportunity and I don't blame you for wanting to try it. But I tell you what, we really want you here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a six month, a three month, a 12 month leave of absence. We're going to keep the door open for you. It's challenging. It's right back to where it was, uh, I'd say, a year ago when things were really tough. In the service industry, staffing shortages have been dire. Carl McCreeth, president of Steamworks Restaurant Operations, says it's been next to impossible to keep the restaurant completely open. If they come in and, and see a restaurant that's half full and they tell you that they're at capacity, it's probably because they don't have enough staff and they're doing what they can. Um, you know, nobody... Nobody wants to not take care of a customer, obviously. It's just the circumstances. Shauna Morin, founder of Operate Remote, says there are an overwhelming number of jobs to choose from right now because working from home has allowed people to apply to positions nowhere near their current city, which is why many places requiring in-person engagement may be experiencing such drastic turnover. It poses a real challenge for organizations that are trying to get people back into the office, trying to get people back into a hybrid environment, is that necessarily what people want? And I think as candidates, as individuals, as human beings, we've really had a chance to reflect on how our definition of success has changed over the last two years. And what do we actually value within our lives and within our work and the impact that we wanna make? Ashley Burr, City News.